Okay, this is Arizona 229. It's a calibration of the standard sand that we use on our sand cone apparatus and the sand cone apparatus itself. There's two, two parts of this procedure. I'm gonna start off with calibrating the sand cone apparatus. When I calibrate the sand cone apparatus, what I'm doing is getting the volume of the funnel and the base plate. These base plates have an area here, a recessed area that your cone can fit into, and then a little lip. These lips are not always the same, so anytime you change base plates, you have to recalibrate your device. Now the procedure says that you put the base plate in the bottom of a level smooth pan. This base plate here has some feet on it, so if you put it in the bottom of this flat level pan, you can look here and see that there's a gap. The gap, the sand would flow through that gap. We need to close that gap before we continue with the test. We have this board here to help us close that gap that fits between these feet. We put that in the bottom of the flat level pan, put the base plate on there. Again, check and make sure there's no gaps. It's all sealed. Now we have our sand cone apparatus filled with sand. We're going to make sure that the valve opens and closes easily and that it's closed. So now we need to get our initial weight of our sand cone apparatus filled with sand. We're going to record that weight to the nearest point, uh, nearest one gram. Again, make sure that your valve is closed. There's an arrow on the cone of the, the apparatus. There's an arrow on the base plate. We need to line those arrows up. Make sure there's no vibrations. Then open the valve and let the sand flow freely. We'll watch to see as the sand is moving in there. When it stops moving, we can close the valve. Okay, this, the sand has stopped moving. Close the valve, lift it up, weigh it again, minus the sand it took to fill the funnel and the base plate. Again, record that weight to the nearest one gram. That was the first trial. We have to do this two more times for a total of three times. So we'll have three trials, three weights of uh, sand to fill the funnel and the base plate. We'll average those three weights and use that average in our calculation.